guys welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday today I wanted to share my Friday favorites with you guys so these are products that I have truly loved through this past week so let's get started with the oddball of the favorites so the first item is this Nair this is the glides away smooth hair remover so this is perfect for traveling with first of all secondly I like that it's in like a deodorant type of stylish packaging because it makes it easy to apply on your legs it makes it easy to apply wherever you need to use this at it says you can use this on your arms your bikini area your legs you can use it wherever you want to so I really like the packaging to this I like the way it works I don't love the smell who does love the smell of Nair I'm not sure many people do but I do like the way this works and I love the packaging to it because I was able to travel with this several times and it worked amazingly for me I had no issues with this whatsoever I didn't get any kind of ingrown hairs or anything so that was really important so I do love this product and I highly recommend it the next thing is this little nail polish duo this is the nails ink unicorn duo so it's a sparkle like a unicorn so this one I don't even think they sell at Sephora anymore but that's where I picked mine up originally I love these colors I have been using them like crazy at first I didn't love the sparkly one but the more I use it I absolutely love it it's one of those iridescent so like if you put it on it looks gold with certain things it looks pink with certain things it looks purple with certain things so I have it on my toes and when I wear gold sandals my toenail polish looks gold it's very unique and then this color right here is the one that's like purplish I love the way this one looks too this one's called rainbow wishes and this one's called dream dream dust I really think these are good polishes and they last a very long time on my nails and on my toenails so I think they're excellent so if you can find that little duo I totally recommend checking it out the next thing is a palette that I was playing with this week this is the Kat Von D Alchemist palette so here's what it looks like it's not real big it's a very small palette but I think it's excellent it's perfect for those crazy highlighters that everybody's looking for because you've got an emerald one here you've got a sapphire you've got amethyst and you've got opal so you've got plenty of different colors to choose from in the corner of my eyelids today I am wearing pink opal because I have more of a pinkyish look going on so I do love the way this works I think it's absolutely I think it's absolutely beautiful I love the little packaging to it I think the packaging itself is gorgeous I think I showed this last week maybe I'm not sure no I know I didn't I'm lying I didn't show it last week because I just started putting it in my basket so there's no way I showed it last week but I really do love this I think it's really awesome and I think you can still purchase that at Sephora the next thing unfortunately was limited edition but I love it so if you have it you need to pull it out and play with it again it is the Kat Von D metal matte palette I love this palette first of all the size to it is ginormous it's like really really big it's like a ruler actually it's larger than a ruler I think but you get tons of different options here all these colors are beautiful I love all the color options all these down here on the bottom row are matte all the ones at top are like shimmery type of shades I just think it's absolutely gorgeous they all blend really well I have no problems with any of these colors whatsoever I just think this is an absolutely fantastic palette if you have it pull it out of your collection and play with it it deserves to be played with I promise you it does the next thing is a lotion that we picked up while we were in Aruba so this is the Aruba aloe after sun lotion I don't really need it right now but I like the smell of aloe <laughs> is that weird I don't know I don't I don't know um, this was made in Aruba so it's made of the finest aloe from Aruba I don't really know if they have the finest aloe I don't know but oh gosh I just got it on my nose but it just smells really good it smells very clean oh my gosh got it on my nose and it feels like really sticky now um, it just smells very clean and very I don't know like sweet and innocent so I just love the I love putting it on my arms I love the way it smells so I'm a little weird though so it does work for after after sun lotion too so if you have a burn it will help to heal that burn so that your burn kind of turns into a tan which is really important you don't want it to peel because peeling is no fun so anyway it does work for that also and the next thing is this cover FX custom infusion drops I recently got back into these and I have been loving them they are so amazing this is the C plus lemongrass this one is for radiance and it totally does make your face look more radiant I don't know if it's because it's an oil or because it actually has an ingredient in it that's making your skin look more radiant but I am wearing it today and I feel like my skin just looks radiant it looks very alive and awake I just love the way this works it smells good it works good I love it I really do love these cover up cover FX custom drops I think they're perfect for especially for someone who has skin type like I do which is very very dry and needs that extra oil works really really well the next and last thing I want to talk about today is the Peter Thomas Roth this is the therapy 
therapeutic sulfur mask. I purchased this a while back, but I kind of forgot about it. This is for acne treatment. So what I do with it, I don't do it like you're supposed to. You're supposed to put it on and leave it on for like 10 minutes or something like that. Um, let's see, clean da, 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 for five to 10 minutes. Yes, I don't leave it on for that. I actually spot treat with it and then I leave it on overnight and I've noticed it's really helped to reduce the acne that I had going on my skin. I don't know if you can tell or not, but my acne that was going on last week was crazy. This week it's not as bad. I do have two little breakouts up in here going on, so it looks like I have horns coming out, but this is helping to take care of them. By the next morning, they shrink down dramatically. The sulfur in them is really what's helping and it's got 10% sulfur. I love this product. I know it's not cruelty free, so I won't purchase it again once I run out of this, but I really do love it. So if you're someone who's not really on the cruelty free, cruelty free thing where you're trying to make sure everything is cruelty free, you might want to check this out. Or if you have this in your collection and you're having problems with acne, I would totally check it out because the sulfur in it is very, very good for acne. So I may have to look around to see what other products contain that high a percentage of sulfur because I know it's really helpful for my skin. Something about it, it doesn't smell good. It smells like sulfur, but it really does help. So I really do like the way this is helping my acne clear up. So anyway, those are all of my favorites from this week. I'd love to know what products you were loving for this week, what products failed you to, because that's always important to know because sometimes products don't work exactly like you thought they were going to. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. <music>